So, hey everybody. This is Bugsy. And you guys wanna you guys are probably wondering, Bugsy, do you understand how salty people are right now about the whole Grinch link? Listen guys, I've said it before, and I'll say it again. It's there. But like people are like, oh my god, it's not the purple's fault, it's not it's the leaker's fault. What, the leaker's fault for making it so fucking good, y'all can you guys can distinguish what was real and what was fake? I mean, when you really think about it, it's blurry to the point where it is fake. Like, come on, why would it be that blurry? Like, let's be real. Why would it be that blurry? And you are like, oh, but Bugsy, we can't get... No, you guys wanted to believe something so bad, you'd forego all logic. And that's the whole thing. That's the whole thing. That's why you all got suckered in by the Grinch leak. And you know, I'm going to do another video just talking about uh, block contents, like, saltiness. Because, god damn. I even heard freaking, uh, you know, Lax Christmas, Lax Christmas salty, too. I'm just like, y'all motherfuckers ain't, y'all motherfuckers ain't grateful for what you get. Rather than everything that isn't there. You want everything that isn't there. Personally? Sakurai so set this up so you guys, because you know, because I know he knew about you guys talking about the Grinch Link, so he wanted to shit you all up in one fell swoop. Like, seriously, he wanted to shed you guys up in one fell swoop. But I'm not here to talk about the saltiness. Because I know, because I know for a fact, because I know for a fact that's pretty much why he set up the exist trophies the way he did. To deconfirm everything. But he understood that a lot of you were probably were probably dependent on it, so they might put some of the characters that you really wanted in DLC. Who knows? May they might, may they might not. But you guys gotta stop being so you guys gotta stop being so you know, pissy about it. You know what I mean? But let us begin. Let us begin, kitties. Let us begin. Hmm. So, we're gonna be. We're gonna begin by talk. By actually talking about. We're gonna begin by actually talking about freaking Delta Room. From what I know, from all the notes I've taken. Delta Rune is possibly an alternate universe created by Gaster or or fabricated world for Chara, either for the many people he could kill or just some place to keep Chara happy. But the thing is, but the thing is, I think somehow Chara didn't really possess Frisk. They were fused. Like, think about it. Frisk kind of looks like Frisk, but there are little, 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 little tiny little things that make, little tiny things that kind of connected all back to Chara. I wasn't looking at the time, I was like, Chris? The fuck, Chris? Chris? Like, I couldn't think, like, I couldn't think about what was going on at the time. And then I actually saw the ending early, which made, which really started to make me think. Why? Like, let me think. Like, guys, this is the thing I'm thinking about. Like, I'm just really starting to try and think about all this. <laughs> Sammy in the perfect sale versus Bendy in the Ebola machine. No, I'm going to look at that later. Anyways, so I realized I'm so and even got the little tink. Don't really know what that's about. Alphys, Alphys, Undyne doesn't know who Alphys is, and she should, because, you know, they, you know, they, they kissed, they confessed their love for each other, we should know, you know, she should know who her, who her love is. Now, let me, now, as Gore, now, Torio, there's nothing really different about her. She's still kind of, she's still kind of a teacher. 
and stuff like guys I'm starting to think guys I am so starting to I am so darn I am so th starting to think right now no 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 for a minute there I had something but I was like nah that don't make no sense anyways I think some of the t I think it's another timeline merging with the already existing Undertale timeline. You know, like I said, there's a lot of there's a lot of there's a lot of like there's a lot of carryovers from Undertale, sort of. But in this alternate timeline, Toriel and Asgore are not royalty. They're not. But they still got divorced. And there was no war with the humans. So I don't really understand what... I don't really understand how they got divorced. Because, again, they divorced because... Because Chara and Azriel both died. And the, and the fact that, you know, Asgore is like, we gotta have a war with all the humans. Toriel... Not really understanding why Asgore did all this. Left. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I like Toriel, but, you know, there's a little bit of hypocriticalness with her. That I just kind of don't like sometimes. Like, I like how, like, in other, like, comics, they kind of rectify this. Saying how she kind of acted without real reason. And, and kind of understanding that, you know, even though... It was a horrible act. She understands that Asgore was desperate, but um, but yeah, she, she has an air of hypocriticalness. You know what I mean? You know, but that's another thing for another day that I'll probably talk about sometime soon. But uh, yeah, we see Sa we see Sans and Papa we see Sans and we hear. We see Sans a little. We see little mentions of Papyrus. You know, we we go to Sans's house and we, you know, we get to the door. We hear the tussling of bones, and you know, and probably if probably they really wanted to do it, they, we probably hear the nah, 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 probably. So Papyrus and Sans are safe and not dead, which I'm happy about. Swear trick. Swear charge. You hurt. If you hurt them, I, I, I'm gonna cause some genocide on you. No one else. You. Lexi, <laughs> calm down. Uh, yeah. Sorry, guys. He's been in his notes like all night. Like all night. Jotting down everything he can. But, um, so the Delta Rune Adventure, you know, with the three heroes. A lot of people are saying this is the, this is the timeline that Sans actually originally came from, which I don't really believe because it's just, again, like I said with the Grinch League, things line up a little too perfectly. And Toby ain't all about that. And yes, and yes, people that believe the Grinch Link, I'm never gonna let this go. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hold this over you guys for as long as I can, or until I just feel like not mentioning it anymore. <laughs> but anyways, anyways, Bugsy, why are you gonna burn those people? We already did it yesterday. <laughs> I'm just mad at how salty they are. They can't even accept, like, they can't even accept that. That this smash is the way it is, and they're all just bitching about what isn't there. And spirit modes is this and that. I'm like, motherfucker, for anybody who played Dokkan Battle, or, or even a little bit in a little bit of Smash Run, there's there's a little combination of the two in there. I don't want to, have to play it. Me and me and the me and the monster monster here are gonna play it. But back to what I was. But back to what I was really gonna talk about with the Delta Room. So yeah, the so yeah the time so yeah the Delta Room Adventure is what I'm calling it. It mirrors Undertale slightly in a little different ways and 
Lancer is kind of a mix between Sans and Papyrus. Also, there was a spade. Also, there was a spade pelt for those of you that uh, are into the homestucks like I am. You would know. Well, you would know what the pale is. You would definitely know what the pale is and why it's there. Even though I don't think that was Toby Fox's real intention, but you know, a lot of people are pointing it out. But yeah. Some people are saying that this is the timeline where Chara came from, which, again, doesn't really make any sense because we never had any clarification that Chara came from a different timeline. And it's like, when... Okay, and it's like, when you think about it, when, you know, Chara, whenever you see Chara at the very end, Chara doesn't talk about any kind of other timelines that Chara's been and even and even if and even if that was true, that timeline would have been erased. Jar would have had enough power to erase people, to erase the whole timeline. Like if this was the if this was the timeline where Char came from, we would see Chara's parents. We would see what led to Chara hate what led to Chara hating humanity. What led to charges hating everything and wanting to commit mass genocide? We would learn all about that, but we don't. The one thing that really got on my nerves is the door with the hump. You can't get to it, and it's locked. But you hear a kind of hum, an eerie, low hum. And for a while, I just was looking at, I was just like, I was just on YouTube just looking at it and hearing it and trying to figure out what's in there. Like, for like for like a few hours, I was just sitting there going, hmm. Like, literally, you guys, he was. Me and Bugsy were just sitting there just, could that be an amalgamite? Or is that the gateway? Is that the door to the underground? Like, what is this? In a way, but in a way, I mean, Bugsy kind of concluded that this is kind of a perfect world for the monsters. There are no humans. Everybody either has a job, have they have families, they have kids. They got jobs. We got one monster that's the fucking mayor. Some of Gaster's followers are actually alive. We only saw that we only saw the one in the library. But other things like Metaton not having his robot body. Metaton not having his robot body. Alf, Alfie's being a teacher. But like, in, in a way, when I look at it subjectively, it's like a world, it's like a perfect world for all of them. Except for Burger Pants, because he's still he's still complain he still fucking complains no matter what timeline you're in. So I don't. So I've been sitting here scratching my head, really wondering what the fuck is going on and why is Char in this timeline and why did it take just now, while Chris is asleep, for Char to really show. Char to really show themselves right now at that very particular moment. And I know from a freaking game and story standpoint, that's a very twist ending. That's a very twist ending. Of course we're going to see Char. Of course we're going to see Char because that's not what we expect. But from a, from, from a standpoint, because we know that Gasser is controlling all of this from the very... From the very beginning, when you start Delta Rune and saying your choices don't matter, which kind of makes me think, did did when he said your choices don't matter, does he mean? Does he mean he built he? Did he basically? Did he basically make the? Did he basically make the core and all the and did the all all these different experiments? Because 
he felt like he didn't have a choice. So in this world, so in this world, he, you know, in this world, he dictates everybody's choices really don't matter. Kind of spoken like a true nihilist when you really think about it. But, but I don't know. I've just been kind of racking my brain about all this stuff. And another thing, Esgore has a flower shop, right? And the flowers look like the seven human souls, even by color. And I don't know what's really going on with that, really. There's also a little bit, there's also a little flower that looks like, looks like the kind of flower that Flowey is. So I don't understand what's going on. A lot of people are saying, like, no, the souls are sealed up in the flowers, like, that made no sense because when you, because when they defeat Flowey, because when they defeat Flowey, it's the souls they depart. Hold up, everybody! I'll be right. I'll be right. I'll be right back. I'll be right back. Guys, okay, okay, guys. And there's something even more important in this video that I must discuss. Because it's been racking my mind. It's been racking my mind for a good few. It's been racking my mind for a good few hours. It's, hold up, let me see if I can get it. Don't for don't forget. Now I really want. Now we're gonna really listen to this song. And the shadows start to grow And the places that you know Seem like fantasy There's a light inside your soul That's still shining in the cold With the truth The promise in The promise in our hearts But well, listen to this Listen to this last part, okay? Don't forget, I'm with you in the dark. Which kind of makes me think, I don't know if I'm right, this could be wrong, but maybe this timeline, everything we see in it, is in the void. It's not even part of the timeline. We are literally stuck in the void. Everything is fabricated because we're in the void. 
Because maybe Gaster figured out some way to kind of make a world, but somehow got us, got everybody inside of it. I could be wrong, but that's the thing I'm going with because it's like, it, you know, it's like, don't forget I'm with you in the dark. Don't forget is a key word when Sans was right was writing in in the picture. Don't forget. And I'm with you in the dark, which means Gaster is around. He's around, around this world, because, think about it, he can, we're all stuck in the void, and he's controlling it. It makes sense. We're all stuck in the void in, in Deltarune, and he's controlling it. It makes sense. Even when Susie and Chris go into the corridor and they get stuck down in what I can assume is like a different kind of underground. It looked like the True Lab. I was getting straight up True Lab and freaking Gaster Room vibes. Why would Gaster... Why would Gaster say, Oh, you've been looking for me. I've been looking for you too. Why would he be looking for us? I don't think he was looking for us at all. He was looking for Chara. And you're probably like, Bugsy, why do you think he was looking for Chara? Think about it, guys. In the genocide run, Chara, when you kill everybody in Undertale, Chara freaking er erases timelines and they just move on to the next. What if... What if Char's ra Char raised so many different timelines? Char ends up in the void, and then they, and then, Ch and then Chara, they run into Gaster, and Gaster and him, Gaster and Chara concoct a plan to not to make a new world, where Gaster basically says, "I'm looking forward." Making a new future with you. An, an entirely new timeline. With Chara's powers of erasing every timeline and taking everybody's soul and becoming more and more stronger, this feels more plausible. But you're probably wondering to yourselves, why did he show why did he show himself now? You're not really giving us the question bugs. Listen. Maybe, maybe, maybe Gaster wanted to, maybe Gaster wanted to make a new world because he's in the void, but come on guys, you know what Char is, you know what Char is really after, he wants, Char wants, they want to destroy all life, it don't matter to them, it don't matter. This, this, this new timeline is just a way for them a way for them to actually fucking kill more people and do it all over again. Tark probably took this while to show themselves to us. And yes, they do know that we're playing the game, so they do know we're there. Ergo, why do you think they ripped out why do you think they ripped out why do you think they ripped out Chris's soul? Because they knew we would stop them. Especially for all the people who actually did a pacifist run on Undertale instead of a genocide run. Oh, oh yeah. For all you guys that did a genocide run, oh, shit is going to be a little bit harder for y'all, I think. Because the game actually looks for... The game actually looks for, like, genocide runs. I'm probably going to have to play Undertale again because my old pacifist... Run save is kind of gone. My computer got wiped clean, so I may have to do that over again. But yeah. But yeah, folks. This is getting a lot more deeper than I could ever possibly imagine, so I don't know what's going on. I think, you know, I'm going to wait until Swanky Box has something, and I'm going to see if there's anything. I I'm going to look. I'm going to look in everybody's YouTube stuff. To see if there's anything I actually missed. Because it's possible. It's possible I missed a lot. Oh, but also, this timeline may, 
the reason I believe that this is a timeline that is like a perfect world, the war between humans and monsters didn't exist. But yet, Chris is the only human, which makes me think that the monsters are above ground, but the humans, especially that door, the humans are all underground. It's reversed. And you're probably wondering, and again, kind of just pulls into the camp that Gaster is controlling all this. Because, because what's better? Making, what's better? Trying to, trying to get them back to the surface? Or making a world where all the humans that put them down there are down there? So they can feel the pain that the monsters felt when they were down there. Not really knowing that this is what happened. And a lot of you are probably wondering to yourselves, where's Asriel? Now, I don't really know where Asriel is. That's the only thing I can really... That's the only thing I can really even pick up. Asriel could be... Asriel could be dead, for all I know. But I did not see his... I did not see his headstone in the graveyard. What I did see is the fact that Gerson's dead, which kind of doesn't make any goddamn sense, but whatever. I mean, but it does make sense. He was pretty old. But I did see the bodies. I did see the headstones of the amalgamates. And if you know how I feel about the amalgamates, you kind of, you would understand how I feel about that. But I think this is a world where even they didn't get experimented on to the point of where they look like. I mean, I ain't going to tell you about the Amalgamates. We've talked about the Amalgamates on this channel. But, honestly, that's all I'm able to pick up. Guys, tell me if there's anything, anything at all that I missed. Because all I have is a few ideas and a few foregone conclusions. I don't know if it's actually the real thing. This is just like my theory and every little bit of it. I don't know if I'm right. But it seems like Gaster is pulling the strings somehow. I don't know how. But it seems like he's pulling the strings. <sighs> and oh yeah, guys. Guys, try going to sleep tonight knowing that. Try going to sleep tonight to remember. Try going to sleep tonight thinking about. Don't forget, I'm with you in the dark. Like, have fun sleeping tonight knowing that guests are watching you when you sleep. <laughs> How is that not creepy? It is. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Like, that's not creepy. Knowing that somebody watching you as you sleep. It's creepy as shit. <laughs> only, only thing I'm wondering now is why does Gaster, sh why did Gaster decide to show himself now? You want to do it on? Yeah, on. Like, I want to know why now. Why why did Gaster decide to show himself or do this now? Because he was, like, how? Because he was split across all between time and space. Like, parts of him everywhere. That's why we saw him in the, that's why we saw him in the Switch version. And he was like, yeah. When he, was talk when he was talking to the clan dude, he was like, I'm coming. His basic thing was like, I'm coming soon, guys. But I'm wondering now, why does he decide to show himself? Is he able to control himself? Was he able to, con was he able to control his powers to do all this? I don't know. But we'll learn a little bit more when sees when. <laughs> At season two, chapter two rolls out because something. Because when I was going through this timeline, 
it just felt really unsettling to me. It really did. But that's all I have. I'll see you all later. And we're going to talk about the inherent saltiness of some people in Super and with the last Super Smash Direct. So don't you worry. Bugsy, you going to be okay? I don't know. Oh. I'll tell you later. Okay, bro. Um, but are you gonna be okay? That's what I'm trying to ask. I'll be fine. I'll be fine, brother. Just if I need, just if I need you, just be there. Okay. Gotcha. Gotcha, bro.